In this video, we are going to learn to import sheets from different workbook without changing any format or any law layout by using VB. Hey, if you are visiting my channel first time, make sure you have press subscribe button below. And if you like this video, please press on the like button. And if you have any questions related to VBA, Excel and SQL, please write down in the comment section. I will definitely answer you. So let's begin. Here you can see in the folder test I have stored two workbooks. One is book 4 and the other one is book 5. So let's check how many sheets they contain. You can see that book 5 is contain only two sheets. One is first sheet and second one the second one is second seat okay and you can see that book 4 book 4 is contain only one seat named as one seat so we will move these three worksheet into the file import seat dot excel sm here so after C2 and it, oh, oh, the all three seats will re, um, copy here. So for this, first I will close book 4 and book 5. And for this you have to click on the insert tab and take active X controls command button. So I have already taken a command button. Okay. So for this and after that you have to right click here and just click on view code first declare the variables so I have declared the variables here two variables type is string so directory and file name is declared as string and one is worksheet so see as worksheet and total as integer then turn off the screen updating and display alerts so for uh, to avoid the screen flicking so I have turn off the screen updating and the display alerts option then initialize the variable directory we use the dir function to find the first excel file stored in this directory okay so then i have added do while loop here but before uh, that i will tell you some uh, i wanted to tell you some secrets about uh, directory function in the end of the video the variable file name now holds so it will it will find the first excel file it will store the first excel file uh, which has stored in the in this in this path okay so now it's contain of uh, excel file first excel file okay so now i have stored the do while loop and then i have opened the file because there is no easy option to copy worksheets from closed excel files so that's the reason i have write down workbooks.open so we will open the workbooks first so import the seeds from the excel file into import seeds.xlsm by by for each loop we will import the all the seeds 
into imports dot xlsm okay so the total which are the total variable will hold the track of the total numbers of proxy present in the import dot xlsm so we use the copy method of the worksheet object we use the copy method of the worksheet object so here you can see i have write down the worksheets sheets dot name dot copy and paste it after so for for this we have i have write down after uh, equal to workbooks so import sheets dot xlsm dot worksheets dot total so what it will do it will paste it after the last worksheet of import dot xlsm then i have closed the workbook here and file name directory so when no more file name may match the directory function returns a zero length string or blank string as a result excel vbo will leave the do while loop and then i have again turn on the screen updating and display alerts so let's check how it performs so just click on the design mode to came out from the design mode and click here import sheets button so it will import all the sheet here you can see one sheet first sheet and second sheet the all the three sheets is imported from book 4 and book 5 so now it's time to tell you secrets about directory so directory is a special function which supports the use of multiple characters you can see we have write down asterisk marks so it's used to multiple it's used to find uh, use as multiple characters while cuts and also single characters while cuts that means we use the question marks to uh, you uh, to use as single character while cuts here also directory function is a special function to get other excel files you can use the directory function with no arguments so that's it for this video thank you